Hey guys, what's up? It's Jess and today we are in my laundry room because we're dying jeans. I don't know about you guys, but I like my denim to be really, really dark. Um, so whenever it starts to fade out to the point that it drives me crazy, probably about once a year or so, I will go ahead and dye my jeans so that they're back to being lovely and dark the way I like. You can do this with any color of jeans, like especially black obviously is notorious for fading. Um, and uh, even if you don't like them like super dark blue, you can get lighter shades of blue. Um, if you have color jeans that have faded out, you know, say you have some red jeans and they faded out or got spots or something, grab some red dye. The technique is the same and the color is totally your preference. So, just as a starting off point, let me grab, I'll grab this pair here. These are pretty faded. These are my American Eagle ones. They're pretty faded out. And so um, this is going to be the before. And once they're all finished, then we can compare how dark they're going to be. Um, so I've got a whole pile of jeans here. I have my bottle of Rit navy blue dye. Um, I'm going to use the whole bottle because I have quite a few pairs of jeans. Um, but if you're only doing a couple, you can just use part of the bottle or you can just get um, uh, like the little packets that it comes in. So um, I am going to be doing the washing machine method. There's a couple different ways you can do this. I think the washing machine is definitely the easiest. Um, but you could do it in a stainless steel sink or you could do it in a bucket, like if you're only doing one or two pairs. Um, but even then, I don't really like that method because you have to worry about, you know, splashing and maybe staining something on accident. And um, also rinsing by hand takes forever and actually uses a lot more water especially if you have a high efficiency washing machine, um, it's gonna use way less water to do it this way. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, get started with put, uh, filling the machine with hot water. You wanna make sure it's hot water. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. And we're back. And of course, what my camera decided not to film was me throwing all of the jeans into the hot water in the washer and a whole can of salt in there. The salt helps the fabric to absorb the dye better. And same thing with the hot water. It opens up the fibers in the fabric so that they'll like suck in more of the dye. So now I'm just gonna shake up my dye here and carefully so as not to splash everywhere I'm just gonna pour this in would you like to come with me I'm just gonna pour this in and try to just get it all around everywhere all in there and now we're gonna stir So I have just a big old kitchen spoon that I don't care about and I'm just going to dunk it in here and you can't probably see very well because it's so dark and then she just beeped at me because it doesn't like having the door open. But I'm just smushing everybody down in here to make sure they get into the dye and that the dye gets spread around evenly salt as well. So just smushing, smushing, smushing. And now I am just going to let it sit here for a while. Yes, I know machine, the lid is open and you don't like it. Well, that's just too bad. So anyway, okay, now I'm just going to let it sit here while I go eat lunch. And I'm probably going to smush it down a couple more times. Okay guys, we're back and uh, the jeans have been marinating in their mixture for um, 
probably pretty close to an hour, like between 45 minutes and an hour, I would guess. I wasn't really timing it. Um, but uh, about every 10 minutes or so, I would come in and I would stir it up and kind of rotate the jeans around in the water just to make sure that everybody was um, fully saturated uh, with the dye and um, to make sure that it, and it could get in between any like folds and wrinkles that might have been in the fabric and um, so now all I'm going to do is just let it go ahead, the washer go ahead and finish the um, rinse cycle and then I'm actually going to set it for a second rinse cycle just to make sure that all the excess dye comes out of the fabric. Um, very important, you do not want to wash them with detergent right now. You just want to rinse them really well and then you can throw them straight into the dryer and dry them like you normally would. And so once they're all dry and everything, I'll break out that um, one pair of American Eagles and um, we'll be able to compare uh, the before and after. So. Um, Simple as that. I will see you guys when they're all finished and show you the results. Hey guys, so I lost the original ending to my dying jeans video. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but it did. So this section is being filmed later and I hope the color difference of these jeans comes through. I'm actually wearing them today. Um, let me stand back. I hope, I hope it comes through all right. But yeah, these are the same jeans. Um, let me show you my leg. La 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 la. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so yes, they came out pretty well. Um, they probably would have come out a little bit darker, but I was doing a lot of pairs of jeans at one time, which I normally don't do. I normally do smaller batches. But anyway, <clears throat> that's all there is to it. Super easy. Um, and so I hope you guys find this helpful and can um, kind of refresh some of your old faded out jeans. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, remember, if you're a subscriber, you are automatically entered to win um, my giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers which I'm so excited for. It would be awesome if we can get there by my one year YouTube anniversary. So um, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, pillow in the way.